ladies and gentlemen, I don't trust people with no lips. If they have no lips, I already know right off the bat I can't trust them by default. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Ahmaud Arbery's killers headed to federal trial after withdrawing guilty pleas on hate crime charges. See, they were trying to get a plea deal and the judge threw it out. So since they can't do the plea deal, they are saying they're not guilty. But during the plea deal that they thought they were going to get, they pled guilty, so they withdrew that. All right. The two men convicted in killing Ahmaud Aubrey told a judge in Georgia on Friday that they'll go to trial on federal hate crime charges after a deal with prosecutors fell apart. Greg and his son, Travis, had reached a deal with federal prosecutors that their 2020 slaying of Aubrey, who was black, was racially motivated. Well, we know it was. It doesn't matter what these guys plead in court, please. We know what it was. White defendants convicted in state court in November and sentenced to life behind bars were going to admit their guilt in U.S. District Court in exchange for spending the first 30 years of their punishment in a federal penitentiary. But Aubrey's family balked at the deal, insisting the men shouldn't be allowed to pick the location of their confinement. And I agree with that. You don't let anybody else do that. They shouldn't be allowed to do it either. U.S. District Court Judge Lisa Wood on Monday said she wouldn't abide by the terms of the agreed uh, sentence and gave both men until Friday to decide whether they wanted to withdraw their admissions of guilt and go to trial. In court on Friday, Travis McMichael formally withdrew his guilty plea. Lawyers for his father had filed papers on Thursday also saying he pled not guilty, opting for trial. Yeah, as if you did <laughs> good the first time. During the brief hearing in Savannah, Wood asked um, Travis McMichael if he had enough time to consult with his legal team before making his decision. I have your honor, he said, I withdraw the plea. Their case will go forward with a jury selection set to start Monday. Lee Merritt, an attorney for Aubrey's mother, said, his client is pleased the federal trial will go forward. If convicted, these men return to a Georgia state prison to serve out their life sentences, Merritt says, which they should do, which they should do. If acquitted, these men return to a Georgia state prison to uh, serve out their life sentence. It's a win-win. That is what Wanda Cooper Jones demanded. This is what will happen. The McMichaels armed themselves and pursue Aubrey in a truck after they saw him running through the neighborhood near Brunswick, about 60 miles north of Jacksonville, Florida. February 23, 2020, Travis McMichael fatally shot Aubrey. The defense tried to argue that the McMichaels were conducting a citizen's arrest, and that's why they got rid of it, because citizen's arrest in America is just white people uh, trying to do a citizen's arrest on black people. And because they saw that consistent pattern, that's why a lot of states did away with it. I, I don't believe that should exist at all, in my opinion, because, of course, it's going to get abused by the usual people, as always, and it did. So Georgia did away with it. There's many states that have done away with it and other states that are looking to do away with it because of how it is done by these alleged citizens that are claiming their crimes going on where it's no crime going on at all. I guess you're just your mere presence is a crime to them. 
All right. They claim, you know, they thought he was a burglar, you know, jogging down the street and had nothing in his hands, but he was a burglar and Travis fired in self-defense. I just don't see how somebody running from you is a threat and you had to defend yourself and the person is running away from you. I, I, I don't know. I don't care how many ways you explain that. It don't make any sense. It makes sense to an idiot. A nearly all white jury convicted the McMichaels and another man, neighbor William Roddy Bryan, who also chased Aubrey. Bryan was also sentenced to life, but he could be eligible for parole in 30 years. So ladies and gentlemen, they changed their plea from guilty to not guilty. I, I don't know what good it's going to do these men at all. <laughs> you know, no matter what their plea is, they're in there for life. So we shall see what happens. Hopefully they will um, also live stream this part of the trial on hate crime. And as far as I'm concerned, they're guilty and they need to never see the light of day ever again. Just imagine if they would have minded their own business that day, but we know they don't know how to do that. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.